Hi folks, I'm Ian Baker, the product specialist here at American RV in Grand Rapids, Michigan. And today I'm here to tell you all about the 2018 Aerolite 2520 RKSL. This particular model is in the French roast interior. This is a rear kitchen model, so let's go ahead and start right in the kitchen. One of the things I like about rear kitchen models is oftentimes they do this, which is they put the fridge freezer right by the door. The reason I like that is it allows easy entry into the camper. You can grab a beverage of choice and head right back out. This is a Norcold unit and it does run off both propane and electric and also has automatic switchover. Moving a little bit further into the kitchen, you kind of see the whole suite of stainless steel appliances here. Uh, you have the microwave right up top. We did put the weight of the unit on there, 5,220 pounds. Right underneath is your hood with a light and fan. Down a little bit further yet is the three burner Atwood cooktop. The front one is high output and an oven in case you like to do some baking while you're camping. You have decent countertop space. You have good prep space right over here. Not a ton, but a little bit extra right here may not be a bad spot for a coffee maker. You'll see you have a double bowl sink right here, the larger bowl on the left, smaller bowl there on the right, and a high rise faucet. Uh, if we take a quick look underneath, we have some good storage down here too. You see right here, they did leave you enough room for a trash can, which is very important to me. I hate having my bag of trash hanging out. And then over here, you have three full extension ball bearing drawers. They are nice and wide, so you have plenty of room for silverware. And some of your bigger utensils you can turn sideways, like your spatulas, serving spoons, things like that. You'll also notice right off to the side here, there's an electrical outlet. So if you need to plug some things in over there, you have the ability to, ability to do that. Uh, LED lights right up top here. Two windows as well, so that lets in some uh, nice natural light during the day. Across the top, you have good additional pantry storage. This does go all the way back to the side wall there. And then you can see that this is a nice separate compartment right up top here. Moving a little bit further up the coach, we move into the super slide. That's what makes this living space nice and open right here as you have this uh, large slide out. Right here is a jackknife style sofa. Uh, I do like the fact it's a leatherette, it is a lot easier to clean, also it's nice and comfortable, and they do give you armrests. Now these are removable, you know, they're not anything that are, the, you know, too, uh, I guess, high quality, I want to say at first glance. You know, it's not anything that's sewn in or anything like that, but they do work very well. It's about functionality at this point. So you can see that that way, you know, you have a nice armrest when you're sitting down. Also, because this is a jackknife sofa, you can see right down here, uh, you have all that extra storage. So when you wanna fold this down into a bed, that's why these are removable. You can take these out, flop it down, you have that extra bed space there. All along the wall, you will notice the large windows to let in a lot of natural light here. Directly above the sofa, you have some good additional storage. Also, the sofa placement in here is really nice. You'll see in a moment, it is directly across from the TV, which is exactly where you want it. Right here is your dinette. Uh, the dinette obviously is a place where you can sit, have a meal, play games together, all that good stuff. It also does drop down into an additional sleeping space. All you have to do is remove the legs from both the flanges in the floor, as well as the flanges here in the table. Then the table will sit down along these rails. At that point, you can take the back cushions, put them on top of the table, and that will create your sleeping space right there. The bathroom is right across the way. We'll get to that in just a moment. But first, I want to briefly talk about the entertainment center here. Uh, so you see off to the side, you have really good storage. Now, if it were me, honestly, I would probably use this as additional pantry storage just because, you know, even though you do have a nice rear kitchen, uh, this is pretty deep for, you know, like DVDs or anything like that. And it is just excellent storage. So that's probably what I'd put in there myself. You do have some good extra storage here up top as well. TV in the center, just as you would expect. And as I mentioned, that is a straight shot across right into the couch. Down below is our multimedia center. This unit is a radio, CD, and DVD player. It is already pre-wired into the TV, so all you have to do is throw a DVD in there and you are good to go. Drawer here on either side of that, and then right down below, you have additional storage there. You'll also notice you have a little electrical outlet over here, so if you do have any auxiliary equipment you wanna plug in and put there, you can do that. You know, or if you want to put like a little blender or something up here, have a, your coffee maker over here, or margarita bar, you can certainly do that as well. An additional drawer right here, which is nice. 
Uh, for me, this would probably become kind of a catch-all drawer. You walk in, open up a drawer, throw your keys and stuff in there. And then right down below, again, good additional storage there. Uh, last thing I do want to mention on that wall right there is your thermostat. You can see that. Uh, that will control your AC unit as well as your furnace. And then your control panel is actually right over here on this wall. In the bathroom here, you see the foot flush lever toilet with good leg room all the way around. And then right in front of that, you have a tub shower. So if you do need to, you know, give the dog a bath, the kids a bath, you have a place to do that. Hand wand here and a nice big skylight up top, letting in natural light and giving you some additional headspace. Right over here is a mirrored medicine cabinet. You do have storage behind that as well as a nice cubby hole. Directly below is your sink top and vanity. There is an electrical outlet there. And then underneath you have additional storage. Above the toilet here, to the side of it rather, you have a really nice linen closet here in this bathroom. And then up top on the ceiling, you have a vent fan to quickly help moisture escape. In the bedroom of the 2520, you have a residential queen size bed. This is a full 60 by 80 inches. So if you're a taller person and you're sick of trying to sleep in an RV bed where your feet are hanging off, this is one you may want to consider. Right underneath, you'll see you do have good extra storage. That is nice and easy to get to. And on both sides here, you have mirrored wardrobe space. You can see the hanging rod going across, nice little shelf up top. Kind of a shelf on the bottom there too. It's carpeted, but almost like a little nightstand. Directly underneath that, you see the electrical outlet. One side has dual USB ports too. So a couple places you can plug in your electronic devices, or if you have a CPAP machine, something like that, you can put that on either side of the bed as well. Dual LED reading lights here, storage across the top, the nice frosted glass on there. If you take a look up at the ceiling, uh, if you don't want to run your ducted AC, you can open up this vent here, uh, open up the window, you know, and really get a nice cross breeze going through here. During the day, if you want to pop this window open, just have the screen, or the door rather, open up the door, just have the screen here, you can do that too. Uh, the second thing I want to mention about the door, this is really nice if you have extra guests. You know, they can sleep on the dinette there or on the couch. And if you need to get up and you know head outside or something in the morning, enjoy a cup of coffee, this allows you to do that. Lastly, if you're one that likes to watch TV uh, before bed, that's not an issue. You'll see the TV hookups are right here on the ceiling. And they have located the backer in the wall so you know exactly where to mount the TV. Now that we've taken a look at the inside, let's take a quick look at some of the outside features on the Aerolite 2520. Starting right up front, you have the Lippert Power Tongue Jack. This makes it nice and easy to connect and disconnect from your tow vehicle. Just touch and flip the switch here to raise and lower the tongue. You'll also see right underneath you have a light in case you are hooking up or disconnecting at night. Behind that, you have two 20-pound propane tanks with a cover. It's very easy to access those tanks. Just undo these two thumb screws, lift up the door, and you can get right in there. Behind that, you'll see you have rails for your battery. And coming up the front is black diamond plating. This helps protect the front end from some of the rocks and debris that get thrown up by a tow vehicle. One of the new changes Aerolite has just made for the 2018s is they've gone to this nice three-quarter front cap here. Uh, gives it, you know, sleeker lines, and they've added some LED lights on either side here. Coming around to the side, you will notice this unit is equipped with the Furion Solar Prep. So if you want solar, all you have to do is buy the portable panels, plug it in right here, and it will start to trickle charge your battery. The pass-through on the Aerolite does have a covered hinge, so this will help prevent all the rust from coming down your door. You also notice it is magnetic latches, that way you can just put this up here and forget about it. When you do take a look inside, notice how big and open this is. It's very clean, you don't have a bunch of stuff running through here, nice large door on both sides. You can see the aluminum frame up top, this unit actually has six sided aluminum all the way around. And there's also a big long LED light strip there. I like having this strip rather than a single light because if things are buried deep in there, you're able to see through the entire pass through. Uh, large power awning on this unit as well. You'll notice that it does cover both entry doors. So, you know, if it's a light sprinkle out, you're able to enter. You're not going to get soaked while you're coming in or out of the camper. Uh, also, because it is power, just touch the button to roll that out. Same thing to go back in. And you have an LED light strip underneath. So that way you don't have to get up there and hang up your Christmas lights. Just flip a switch and you will have light here at night. 
There are two entrances into this RV as we had seen when we were inside. This one right here is the one into the bedroom. It does have three folding steps as well as your standard grab handle. Making our way back a little bit further, you will notice that this has two outside speakers. Those are connected to your multimedia center inside. However, that unit is Bluetooth capable. So if you want to sit out here underneath your awning, you can connect to that uh, with a smartphone or a tablet. Right down here is black tank flush. This makes it nice and easy to wash out the black tank. Instead of taking a hose and sticking it down the toilet, you just screw that hose in right here. The black tank has sprayers built in and it will wash it out for you. This is to fill our water tank right here. And then these are your TV connections. You'll see they did include a TV mount on this camper. So all you have to do is put the arm right in there and then you will plug it into your electrical outlet here. You have a cable outlet right there. Right down below, if you take a look at the wheels, you do have aluminum alloy wheels on this coach. Not only do they look great, but they also won't rust on you and they help prevent corrosion. You have easy lube axles and nitrogen filled tires, which means your tires will hold that pressure for a longer period of time. Making our way back a little bit further, this is the main entrance. Again, you have the three fold out steps, but this one gives you the foldable easy grab handle here. Seeing as how this is the main entrance, you'll probably be using this one more often than not. Uh, this coach does have the all seasons package on it as well, which lets you camp into the colder season. So if you do start to camp late into the fall and you start to dip below those freezing temperatures, no worries, you will be okay. Right back here is your spare tire. Hopefully you never have to use it, but in the event that you do, you know it's riding right back here for you. And uh, you know, it's a great peace of mind to have that. If you take a look right underneath here, you will see the propane quick connect. If you're someone that likes to grill outside, I personally love it myself. You can set your grill right up here in the back corner, hook up to that propane quick connect right there. That way you can feed off the two 20 pound bottles instead of having to get the small separate green ones. If you take a look right up top there, you will see that this unit does have backup camera prep. Uh, that's really nice too. Backup cameras tend to you know, be fairly expensive to have installed, but with the prep, it is a lot cheaper. It basically just makes it a plug and play. You buy the camera, plug it in, and you are good to go. Uh, when you start getting into some longer RVs, it definitely is a nice thing to have. Coming around to this side here, the majority of your hookups are right over here. They're nice and easy to get to. You'll see you do have a light in case you need to get in here at night. Cable inlet, 30 amp detachable power cord plugs in right there. You also have a spray port, so if you need outside water access, it does come with a hose. You hook that guy up there, and then uh, this is your city water inlet there. All right, folks, that wraps it up. Again, this is a 2018 Aerolite 2520 RKSL. This one has the French roast interior. If you're interested in this RV and you'd like price and availability, I recommend you give us a call here at American RV, or you can take a look at our website, which is AmericanRV.com. Thanks again for watching. I'm Ian Baker, and I can't wait to see you on the road to freedom.